How I Met Your Mother star Josh Radner anchored the CBS sitcom for nine seasons as the unlucky in love Ted Mosby, working his way into viewers' hearts with his adorable smiles, constant optimism, and pretentious pronunciation skills. Oh, you think it should be pronounced encyclopedia? It's a common mistake. But if you look up that squished together AE symbol in this here encyclopedia, you'll learn that it's a ligature derived from the Anglo Saxon rune Ash. However, since the hit show ended in 2013, Radner has been noticeably missing from the limelight. Since so many people loved his character on the series, everyone wants to know why he hasn't been in any other high-profile projects, so let's explore why Hollywood won't cast Josh Radner anymore. M.I.A. at the Movies Radner didn't have very many credits to his name before getting cast as the lead in How I Met Your Mother. Aside from a small appearance in Not Another Teen Movie, he'd only had guest appearances on various TV shows. How I Met Your Mother launched him to stardom, and his most notable role since then has been in the TV sphere, as Dr. Jed Foster on PBS's Mercy Street. In other words, Radner just hasn't shown that he can anchor a film yet, which could make studios wary of casting him and risking poor box office returns. Ted Mosby Eternal It's often tough for actors who spent a long time playing one part to shed that identity. To many viewers, Sarah Michelle Gellar will always be Buffy, Daniel Radcliffe will always be Harry Potter, and Josh Radner will always be Ted Mosby. This can make it difficult for actors to move on from career-defining characters and can make it hard for casting directors to see them in potential roles. Just ask Mark Hamill. Looking for Love like Ted Mosby, Radner has also been trying his best to find Mrs. Wright in real life. If you're looking for the word that means caring about someone beyond all rationality and wanting them to have everything they want, no matter how much it destroys you, it's love. He hasn't married or made mysterious mothered children with anyone yet, but there have been plenty of rumors surrounding his partners. Radner split with actress Lindsay Price, whom he met on the set of How I Met Your Mother after a year of dating in 2009. He was linked to Twilight actress Julia Jones in 2013 and later dated actress Marissa Tomei in 2014. After that, reports say that he's dating Friday Night Lights beauty Minka Kelly. If we learned anything from Ted, it's that finding that special someone can involve a lot of trial and error. Tapping it out The actor is also working on other writing projects that may keep him from screen work, including securing a deal for his as-yet-untitled book on his attempts to, quote, answer the big questions about spirituality. The book is expected to follow, quote, an ongoing quest that takes Radner from his youth in Heartland, Ohio, to the unexpected lessons of celebrity and beyond, end quote tied up behind the lens. Radner won the Sundance Film Festival Dramatic Audience Award for his 2010 directorial debut, Happy Thank You More Please, which he also wrote and starred in. Since then, Radner has also written, directed, and starred in the film Liberal Arts and is set to direct, but not star in, the upcoming sci-fi drama The Leaves. Radner said he got into writing with Happy Thank You More Please in order to, quote, give himself a great film role, adding that by writing, directing, and acting in his films, he can create projects that feel personal. Dabbling in Music Radner is part of the band Radner and Lee, along with Australian musician Ben Lee, and in October 2016, Radner announced that they were working on a debut album. So I understand you're writing songs for your Correct. first album. That's great. <laughs> I am. Wow. Yes. I am. Yeah. Yeah. You, you play instruments. At, I do not you play do not. an instrument. Right, he's one of I'm us. I'm writing he's, an album. Yeah, we with, don't. Hey. You don't what? We're instrument free as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we have a support group. Yeah. That's called Love Songs for God and Women. Radner said the album will feature mellow folk songs co written and performed by the duo. Wow. We decided to write one song together, and we had so much fun that we wrote 11. Oh. And then we said, let's uh, make an album, so we're cutting a record. Taking the stage. While he's been missed on the big and small screens, Radner has been a regular feature on popular stages for the past few years. For example, in 2015, he appeared in the Pulitzer Prize-winning play Disgraced, and most recently, he could be seen in The Babylon Line at the Lincoln Center Theater opposite Elizabeth Reeser. A Turnaround Radner has made some eclectic choices since the ending of How I Met Your Mother, and while he may not be following the stereotypical path of most actors, he's still been keeping himself busy with valuable and original projects, like his festival-friendly drama The Seeker. Radner's smarts and ambition should serve him well in any field. Here's hoping we just get to see a little bit more of him soon. 
Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.